So, hello. We've got breaking news again. More breaking news. So now, uh, I'll put, give it to you with the chain of events that it happened. <clears throat> Not only did I contact the Royal Mint last week when I recorded their phone call, I also, I also contacted the Treasury. And the Treasury told me to contact my local police force, Dorset. So I contacted my local police force, Dorset, and did exactly what I was told to do by the Treasury. And the local police have taken my complaint seriously and now passed it on to the Fraud Department and the Royal Mint are now being officially investigated by the police. Can't say it any easier than that. Look at that, all within the first 60 seconds. Can't say it any easier than that. I reckon things are moving the way we want them to move. So, that said, no point going on and on and on. Might as well use the time to go tell you what. Bit of shameless advertising, subliminal again. And uh, put into the fund. If you want 10 times your money, if you'd like to get involved with something that could potentially help you right out, get involved. As I said the other day, for all those people that have been sitting on the fence wondering, well, you know, it's a bit strong what you're saying, Ian. <sighs> Shouldn't be doing that. We're actually got them on the run a bit, a lot. So I honestly think now, you know, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a steal. It's sale of the century, as it were. It's probably the best deal you'll get involved in for years to come. And not only will you be making money, but you will be joining in the making of history. 1,100 years they've been going. Nobody's ever affected them the way that we've affected them. Me, you, all of us. So uh, even those people that are just constantly badgering us in the comment sections and things like that and putting up their own videos and one thing and another, you know, just, just bear this in mind. It's only a little tiddly tiny point. Tiddly tiny. Probably means nothing. Probably only a little tiddly tiny wincy 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 point. But it's this. The police are not investigating me. The fraud department ain't investigating me. The police, the fraud department, are investigating the Royal Mint. They're not investigating me. So all those people that are putting up all these arguments that are just what I call glass arguments because you can see straight through them, I mean carry on you're back in the losing side and you're getting me attention so I don't mind so you can either carry on back in the losing side or not it's entirely up to you but I think we're the winning side there's been no correspondence no letters from their solicitors telling me to stop saying what I'm saying there's been no correspondence from them they haven't phoned me back as promised and it's now nearly a week later. Um, and now the police are investigating. So, here's a phrase I've heard quite often. Make of that what you will. Anyway, support us all you can. www.thegreatbritishcoinhunt.com and um, top of the page is a link for the crowd funders. And if you want the raffles that have been moved, the raffle link is now on UK. So click on UK and then top left, you'll see the raffle link. Please support us. We've got the crowdfunder up and running on our own website. Thanks very much. Bye for now.